Well, hello. I'm going to show you the routine that I use to update my G1000 system as far as uh, navigation updates and chart updates. So here we go. I'm going to start the process. The first thing I do is take out the two existing data cards, the PFD card and the MFD card. These are SD cards. And I normally leave them out when I use the Jefferson update card. This is a card that um, I produce by uh, using the Jefferson software on my PC. And uh, it comes out about once a month. It's called Nav Data. And this updates all of the um, text information that's in the databases of the G1000, such as airways, frequencies, etc. And you put it in the top slot of each device. I'll start with the uh, PFD on the left and then power up just the PFD. And as you can see, it is asking me if I want to update the uh, navigation database. I'm going to press yes. It says updating, please wait, and it's updated successfully, continuing in X seconds. I'll go ahead and get it to continue right away by pressing the buttons, and I usually let it come all the way up. I don't like turning it off in the middle of the boot up. Okay, so it's up, and I'll go ahead and turn it back off. Now at this point, I take the same Jefferson card and move it to the top slot of the MFD. And I have a data card up there that does the logging. I'll take it out and put the Jefferson update card back in the top slot. And now I have to turn on all of the master switches to get the MFD to power up. So we'll do that now. Ground mode. Okay, once again it asks do I want to update? I'm going to say yes. Updating database, please wait. And one, uh, one updated successfully, I'll continue and let it completely power up. Okay, at this point I'll power down the system. Take the nav update card out and replace it with a login card. I have two of these cards I use for data logging. That way I can take the other one home and not forget to bring it back and, and um, have it in there for, to log the next trip. Now I also have two sets of PFD and MFD chart cards. This contains the chart information, safe taxi information, etc. And these update in some cases every 14 days, in other cases every 60 days. And so these I, I have to take in and out quite a bit and update them. And then I'll take the, the old set that was in there, which are these, and I'll bring those home and also update them to the latest. So I try to keep both sets of cards updated to the latest version of everything. So at this point I'll power everything back on and what I'm going to do is on the MFD look to be sure that in fact all the databases initialized correctly and that they are updated to the current version. And we'll try to hurry the process along a little bit by pressing the buttons here.
and what's happening now is verifying each database, verifying safe taxi, verifying terrain, verifying airport terrain data. Uh, airport directory is not in there, and verifying chart data. for the verification process to complete. Safe Taxi verified. It says it expires 25th of August. Airport terrain is 2.04, it's verified. Terrain is 2.04, it verified. Now my obstacle database expired November 18th, 2010. And I don't update that but about once a year because the obstacles really don't change that much. So I don't see the need of doing that. The navigation that says it expires 25th of August 2011, but it's in yellow, and that's because I'm actually a little bit early. Some of these databases you can download up to a week ahead of time, and because that database hasn't gone into effect yet, I still, it, although it's not expired, it's in yellow because it's it's a little bit early. And then my chart view, which are the Jefferson charts, it expires 13th of October 2011. So everything updated correctly, everything's good to go. I'll press enter. I know that uh, they fueled the airplane last time I was here, so I'll go ahead and reset Toss system test. Okay. my uh, fuel system to 102 gallons, and then there's four gallons unusable, so I'll normally decrement four gallons down to 98 gallons usable. And uh, at this point, everything's set. All I have to do is power everything down and my update is complete.